Cannons. Cannons to the left of them. Get it? That shit is hella funny. Oh, God. Hey, man, if you know, you know. Uh, what is going on, everybody? It is a Wednesday morning, a cold morning in Seattle. It's 4.40 a.m. And we're on our way to 24-hour fitness right now. Um, so today is the first day that I did the 2,000 calories. And I'm definitely feeling leaner. You know, I said I was doing 2,000 calories and I just go home and binge eat, eat some dessert, eat some cookies, do whatever. And now that we got the cardio going, we did 20 minutes yesterday because I wanted to get home soon. Uh, I'm probably gonna hit the 30, we'll see. But still, it's a large deficit and we're trying to get snatched up. So the 2,000 calories, it consisted of mainly like, snacks I think so I had two protein shakes I had a Kodiak pancake which those are busting by the way um, I had that you know some sugar-free syrup and then I also had I've been on this pistachio kick lately so I had to work harder to kind of eat that snack which keeps me busy and then I had some jerky I had some uh, sesame snacks that I got from Trader Joe's and then I also had like a fit crunch bar which I got from Costco those are those uh, Robert Irvine kind of bars which aren't bad I had that for like a, a nightcap which was sort of like my dessert and then for my main meal I had some uh, if you ever had that orange chicken bowl from Trader Joe's yeah that was that was pretty good I had that around like 6 30 that consisted that was that was a two two thousand calories right there oh I can't forget my two rice krispies which I got sitting in my lap right now after I'm done doing this intro and I'm gonna eat before we hit our back day and as soon as I figured out with back we're gonna segue into that as far as training your back and hitting the different parts of your back it's all about your elbow path so whenever you're training back, just think about that. The closer your elbows are to your torso, the more you're gonna be training lats. And then as, as your elbow starts to move up around the 45 degree range, you're gonna be training your rear delts. And around the 90 degree range, you're gonna be training your upper traps, upper back. So those are some boxes to kind of check off whenever you're training to make sure you you know, switch your elbow path and even sometimes, I mean, you don't have to throw it in, but a nice little pullover, a dumbbell pullover or a pullover with the cable, standing cable pullover or pull down, I guess. You could do those for your lats as well. Um, I feel like my back has been gaining a lot of thickness though from uh, deadlifts. So, I used to not have these in my routine for the past, like, I think it was like a couple years, or maybe even longer, where I went away from, like, deadlifting, and um, I feel like my back took a little bit of a hit from as far as, like, a thickness standpoint goes, and of course, when you're bodybuilding, you gotta put all those into play. As far as like back thickness, muscle maturity, symmetry, I mean there's so many, so many things you got to do. You're like, you're like an artist when you're a bodybuilder, just like Arnold said, and you're sculpting, you're sculpting your body to, I guess the quote unquote perfect, perfect look or whatever the judges are going to think is perfect, right? So. Um, but that being said guys, let's go sculpt our bodies. Let's, um, I'm gonna finish this pre-workout and eat these Rice Krispies and then I will see you guys after I hit the 10 minutes of the Stairmaster. All right guys, this is the first exercise. The T-bar row was taken, the chest supported one, so we're on here. We're gonna have our hands up, like I was telling you earlier. We're gonna work the upper back. 
This will be the first working set. We got 190 on here. All right. Strap up, of course. Okay. What I like to do, I like to get a couple breaths in to get the oxygen flowing. Okay, big breath, let's go. Three, two, one. Come on. Okay. The next one, we'll probably finish off with partials. And after 10 years of lifting, I finally figured out how to brace my core against this. <laughs> but if you guys have trouble, um, like with breathing, as far as that goes, like try and keep your core engaged against the pad if that makes sense. And then take a breath um, before you do your uh, concentric. So when you're pulling back, take a breath there, hold it, embrace it against the pad. That's what feels good. Hold on, man, I'm trying to trip her now, real quick. My shit's on shuffle and I got this on. This is terrible. Shout out T-Swizzle. <laughs> all right guys, this is gonna be the second set and you're gonna see um, that I'm pulling all the way through and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. But with this pumper cover on, we do our best to see that. I'll probably take this off after, uh, after this set. And I don't even know what we'll move on to. Maybe a row or another row, we'll see. Okay, big breath. Whew. Whew. Hard squeeze. Oh shit. Traps lit up after that one, man. Okay. Let's figure out what we got next. Probably like a seated row. Maybe a dumbbell row. We'll see. Alright guys. Um, this is gonna be the second workout. And you're gonna see we're gonna grip the lower bars to keep our elbows kind of tucked next to our torso. Yeah. I haven't worn this shit in a minute. All right, got that Vaughn playing, so I like to use a little platform. You see my feet there, and it helps me kind of like round and stretch my back that much more. All right, three, two. God damn, eight reps, that wasn't too bad. Um, we're probably just gonna stay here. And as far as doing parcels with this, they said the, the optimal bros didn't say that was, that was too optimal, so we're not gonna do that. What we could do is punch rugs, actually, to try and um, finish out the traps even more. So we'll do that then. All right guys, this will be the top set, and then we'll finish off with some shrugs to finish off with the, uh, the traps. It's because I, I rarely do these kind of kind of shrugs anymore. And my traps are still pretty good, so I ain't, I ain't worried about too much. 
<clears throat> All right, let's uh, strap this up real quick. Whew. Okay, three, two. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next, I think like a pullover. Either a pullover or, honestly that seated row felt really good when he was, even people don't use the D handle grip a lot because of restricts range of motion. But I feel like I got my range of motion here anyways. So we might just move over to that uh, cable row. And then I like to tilt that V bar a little bit to kinda pull my pinkies into my abdomen. And that's honestly been helping with a little bit with like lat engagement. But let's see, I still wanna sprinkle in a little bit biceps even though we trained them a little bit yesterday. Um, and then my my abs are starting to pop out again since we've been training them. So they don't need, that, need too much as far as growth goes. But if you want your abs to stick out, you know, like a bulking face, you obviously wanna build them up. So let's move on. So for this one, like I was telling you, I'm using the bottom of the V grip and I'm pulling my pinkies into my torso, if that makes any sense. Um, and what I've been really doing, like as far as like focusing on back growth, I've been like rounding my lumbar a little bit. And you might be able to see that from this angle, because when I'm coming through like that, I'm working out my lower back as well. And if you want those like bazookas running up your back, that's what you need to do. So like that, I'm kind of rounded. And I'm gonna pull all the way through around Stress is nasty. Um, hold on, I think I got at least like two more. Let's see. One. Slow it down. Ah. You ever had a look like a lower body, lower back pop like that? Like after a squat session or a deadlift session, that gives you the same kind of sensation. All the blood is driving down there. Okay, let's take some rest, do one more set, and then maybe move in the biceps, we'll see. All right, for this one, you can get like a side view, and you can see the lower back kind of around there. This will be the second set. And for this one, what I like to do is I keep my feet lower on the platform, so I could have some, some room to pull to, to my torso there. So, you can't really see my feet right now, but my feet are all the way at the bottom of the platform. And then, Let's see, lower back kind of round like that, and upper back. I'm pulling all the way through. Oh. <sighs> Feels like a crazy, crazy stretch on my lats. And when you're like all the way stretched, you wanna break down that muscle fiber just like that. So get the most stretch you can 
and then the most contraction you can to get the most out of that muscle group. All right, back on our favorite machine. And if I had a gym, I'd probably arm it with prime machines. Man, this, this prime machine preacher curl is just money. We got a uh, 45 and a 25 right now. So we're gonna hop right into it because our biceps are pretty warmed up from that seated row we did. Three, two, one. Back like another one. Two. Give me that stretch. And one more. God damn. Yeah, you can really feel that shit. Don't pop that up. Oh. All right, top set. We might fuck around and do a drop set. We'll just strip the uh, 25 off. And then we'll do one, no, we'll do two sets of hammer curls. We probably could just do it here, honestly. But we'll go grab some dumbbells for that. All right. Ah. Oh fuck dude, I wanted to quit on that one for real because that was a grinder. God damn. All right, let's hit some hammer. Actually, no, we'll do a drop. Hold up, hold up. Oh. Holy shit. Okay, back into it. Three, two, one. I gotta control it. There we go, I'll control it. Get squeeze. Alright man, god damn. This shit's gonna help you build some solid cannons. If you got little gardener snakes, man, you wanna build a king cobra. Hop on this. All right, guys, now we got some um, hammer curls. So what you'll see is I'm curling towards the midline of my body to better line up the, is that the brachialis? Okay, some 45s here. Keep that chest brow, too. God damn, this shit a lot harder to control the weight. Just to swing it. Hold on, let me get some momentum going. Okay, and that was just to get the blood flowing. So I'll probably drop the weight to like 40s to get a little bit more control there. But I've been been taking the pump supplement by Legion. And I swear that's that's helping with some blood flow for real. Cause your boy got a solid pump right now. Like I don't know if the lighting's kind of good here, but you see everything just look a little bit more 3D. And that's gonna happen a lot more when we're cutting because once you you know fizzle out the fat, everything's gonna look plastic wrapped. As last but not least, this is gonna be the last set of biceps. <clears throat> Okay, that's all right. When you're doing those, you want to keep that elbow locked in place. So keep it locked in place, get that full stretch, and come towards the midline of your body. 
but all right I'm probably I kind of want to do one one set of abs like I did yesterday like a cable crunch or something um, or a decline crunch those are awesome too or a knee tuck so we're gonna see what we want to do do one of those pop back on the stairmaster and then do a physique update all right what we're gonna do here uh, this machine if you ever had this you just keep your your spine intact with the machine crunch up what's i mean this machine is pretty feels pretty good for core activation just as long as you're getting a good stretch and squeeze let me put my feet up here man i don't even know how much that is hold on I don't know if you can hear this, but I got fucking like, peaches and cream playing on the cup. <laughs> My radio on Apple Music is going crazy right now. <sighs> oh god! And I noticed I just keep like saying randomly, random five, five count on the reps. In reality, I think I did like it. Maybe almost twenty. We'll do one more and. Gotta finish the rest of our cardio. I think I did 15 minutes on the stairs. So we're gonna start. Since my deficit is already large enough, I feel like let's just do 20. I'll be telling you guys shit, but I don't be following through sometimes. So <laughs> it's all good. We got five minutes on the stairs after this bet. Alright man, y'all gonna see. Your boy six pack's about to come back. Mark my words. Two, three. Slow down. Four. That's all I need, man. Fuck. All right, man, we done. Let's get a little physique update. All right, guys, we in Club Omnia. Oh, the lighting is freaking spectacular. And I like how this um, this Nike this Nike tank be be hugging the waist, boy. Look at them fucking cannons. Cannons to the left of them. Get it? That shit is hella funny. Oh god. Hey man, if you know, you know. Um, woke up 180. 180. Goddamn beast, pit bull. Hey. Motherfucker. Um, but yeah, we feeling good, man. We about to go to Europe. I think we're about to work on our tickets. Motherfuckers is like, goddamn, five, six hundred. Seattle to, to Europe. Dublin, Ireland. Shout out my wife, she's half Irish, so. <sighs> okay, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Uh, everything was, as far as all the working sets, those were filmed. And you can see that we're training with intensity. We got that locked in. Uh, we're training with good, good form, good technique. We got that locked in. And we're, we're training with, while well, we're looking good. So we got that. I mean, you look good you feel good you play good they pay good we're working on that one we're working on that one right there but it's all right it's all a process um as long as we're progressing slow progress is better than no progress yeah that's right um that's all we got man we might take a rest day tomorrow let my wife get the get the early morning spot we'll see how that goes but thank you guys for tuning in as always Please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. That would help the channel immensely. And um, leave a comment uh, if you're liking the content. <laughs> All right, peace.